Welcome to another one-on-one -on -one session here at OK Preps Media Day. I'm Michael Knight, standing here with Muskogee's Quintet and Cherry. Uh, let's dive right into it. Muskogee has been competitive over the last few years, but you're trying to take that next step, go for a state championship in a class that you know features a lot of talented teams. How is this off season different compared to some of the, the off seasons previously? Uh, well, we got a new um, strength, strength coordinator. Coach Sexton, so all season has been hard. You know, we've been hitting the weight room hard, and just everything has been going smooth, and we've just been getting better every day. Talk a little bit about yourself. You know, what you know, what do you do on the field? Uh, you know, talents, things like that. Just, you know, introduce us. Well, I consider myself as a dual threat quarterback and also an athlete. I feel like I can do – I feel like I can play multiple positions, but playing quarterback this year, I can run the ball, I can throw the ball. So, yeah. Now Muskogee offensively, they've you know Jacob Madrano at QB. He put up some big numbers. Uh, what can Muskogee fans expect as you kind of take the reins at QB this fall? You can definitely expect that we're going to score the ball a lot. <laughs> I mean, we're going to put some numbers up, put some yards up. We're just going to go out there and play hard. Now, uh, is there a quarterback or just player in general? whether at the college level or the NFL, that you kind of look to replicate yourself or you know, take parts of his game and take and make a part of yours? Well, most definitely Cam Newton and Lamar Jackson are the top two because they're both big time dudes, they're quarterbacks, and they can both move and they're both mobile and agile. Is there a game on the schedule this fall, whether it's, you know, Booker T. Washington, defending champs, or you know, a non-district game. Is there a game on the schedule this fall that you guys already have circled? You're already looking forward to it. Well, we're gonna go to every game with the same mindset. But I feel like Bigsby, the big teams, Bigsby, Booker T, all of them. Like we're just gonna go in and play hard because you know they 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 are they have won rings. You know they do have the experience, and we really don't. So. We're going to go in with the same expectation to every single game that we're going to play hard and play good. There you go. All right, uh, final question for you. Pre-game rituals, do you have any? Is there something that you have to do before each game, before you go out on the field? No, I just need my music in. That's it. Who's in the headphones? Uh, Lil Baby and NBA Youngboy. There you go. Hey, that's not the first time we've heard that already today. All right, man. Quintevin, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Good luck to you and the Ruffers this fall. Appreciate it. He's Quintevin Cherry. I'm Michael Knight, and this has been another one-on-one -on -one session here at OK Preps Media Day.